don't ban books, guys, because books are ideas on paper. And if you ban ideas on paper, the next step is to just fucking ban ideas. Hello everybody and welcome to this video where we are going to be talking about some disgusting crap. Um, the banning of books. I'm going to be reading little bits of this to you. In Jamestown, Michigan, the library was defunded after refusing to censor LGBTQ authors. And the library stance is that we are not going to ban books. And the, the argument from the other side was that, um, since this is a, a new hip word to these folks, um, that by not censoring these books, um, the library is trying to groom children. Uh, now, I'm going to play devil's advocate here a little bit because, like, obviously this is a right versus left thing. Like, there's, there's no way around this, okay? And I think if... I'll, I'll get to my commentary in a second here. So, um, the residents voted on Tuesday to block a renewal of funds tied to property taxes. Okay, now this is... Um, an article I am reading out of The Guardian by Matthew Cantor, just so give credit where credit's due. Um, the vote leaves the library with funds through the first quarter of next year. Once a reserve fund is used up, it would be forced to close. Um, and Larry Walton, the library board's president, said, that um, this is harming not just readers, but the community at large. Beyond books, residents visit the library for Wi-Fi, and it houses the very room where the vote took place. That's fucking disgusting. Our libraries are places to read, places to gather, places to socialize, places to study, places to learn. They are the heart of every community. Uh, so, basically, it started with a... Um, graphic novel, a graphic memoir called Gender Queer. And um, this is where I think the argument could have been dealt differently. And um, you may call me a square. But it's a fucking graphic novel. So in the graphic novel there are going to be pictures. And in this graphic novel, which I have not read, but I did see a review of it a while back. But in this book, there are um, graphic, meaning an image, depictions of sexual encounters. Now, if the crazy book banners went at this with just we don't want images of pornography in a library paid for taxpayer paid by paid for with taxpayer dollars that argument i think um i think they could have gotten away with that argument without this turning into a full-on um, fascist Third Reich book burning, a la Raiders of the Lost Ark, okay? But because they were bitching about that book and the other bits of the article here, the book was not where kids could get it. It was in the adult section. And then after the first library director quit because of outraged people threatening them, the new person came in and put it behind the counter so no one could flip through it. And I guess you had to be a certain age to check it out, I assume. I don't really know. But their argument is the argument of the the banners 
is that it's confusing children. It's confusing children to question norms. Um, so they had all of these people coming in and yelling and screaming and all this shit. And then instead of just saying, we want this book out of the library and having that be the topic of argument, they showed up with a list of 300 fucking books that depicted LGBTQ lifestyle. And they wanted those books out of the library. And um, because um, everyone is afraid of those damn libs grooming kids um, they ended up shutting down the entire fucking library and the funny thing here is I don't know if this is accurate I'm gonna I'm gonna make some guesstimations here one of my guesstimations is that the people who are so pissed off about this, something tells me that they probably weren't even using the library that much. Those people are likely either not readers at all or people who buy their books probably from Costco, which is fine. It's an outlet like any other place. So the people who are getting the short end of the stick here are the people who actually use the fucking library. Now, this isn't the first time a state or a city or anything has banned books lately. Um, I think in Florida... Um, Trump to uh, the the governor down there. Um, he outlawed some textbooks, which is weird. Seems like they should read the textbooks. Um, and then I was just reading that in um, Oklahoma, a library is now not allowed to use the word abortion. I don't mean to alarm anybody, but as I alluded to at the beginning of this video or earlier in the video, there was a um, parallel between Raiders of the Lost Ark. I know a lot of people think that when people freak out about shit like this, that they're freaking out about nothing. But this is how all this shit starts. There have been so many fucking things in the last couple of years that if you looked at history and looked at governments around the world, okay... This is how it begins. This is how it starts. And when I say it, you know exactly what I'm fucking talking about. The fact that you know what I'm talking about and I didn't have to say it means that you probably know exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. So, <clears throat> oh, I don't know, guys. This is some dark fucking shit. I don't know what I would recommend everyone do, you know, because I am obviously a authority in this world here, um, is go check out your local libraries. And I know that libraries really took a hit with COVID, and I don't know if they're back up to the game yet. And, like, hopefully with September rolling around here, it's going to be a lot easier for libraries to start functioning again. But go to your local libraries and ask them what you can do to help. Like if there's anything um, 
that could be done. Because if this is happening in Florida and Oklahoma and Michigan, it's probably happening in every fucking state in the country. It's probably happening mostly in red states and red districts. So if you live in a place like that, go ask your library what you can do to help. Like, and if it's just, I don't know, dude, like, this is, <sighs> don't ban books, guys, because books are ideas on paper. And if you ban ideas on paper, the next step is to just fucking ban ideas. And some of you might think, like, I'm going too far, but... If history has fucking taught us anything, it's that we need to be fucking worried right now. Okay? So, that's all I'm saying. So, I hope you enjoyed this. And go support... Support anything that's not that. Okay? See ya. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Creo and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys, and thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew or the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.